So this is, this is the start of 5.3 at the bottom of that page, and we're going to continue the conversation on Tuesday about this as well. But so far, there are four types of functions. A constant function, a linear function. Notice constant and linear, they're both lines. There's quadratic, and there's cubic. A constant term has zero. That means the degree is zero. It basically means there's no variable. A linear term means that there is one variable, and the exponent is one. Quadratic, there's the highest exponent is two, like x squared. And notice that in a quadratic, this is where we're going to start talking about those end behaviors. If it's an even degree, so see how it's an even degree? How it starts and how it ends, it's the same. So if it starts down, it will end down. Anytime you have an even degree function, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, any degree that's even, However it starts, if it starts down, it ends down. If it starts up, it will end up. A cubic is a, is a polynomial with a degree of 3. So the largest exponent is 3. And a cubic, you, the end behavior, is if it starts down, it will end up. And the reason that this is a degree of 3 is it should cross the x-axis in three places. 1, 2, 3. A quadratic usually crosses the x-axis in two places, one, two. Good afternoon. Okay, so now look, this is a degree of four. This is called a quartic. The highest exponent would be four. And notice it started up. The end behavior is up. And that is because four is an even, um, even degree. Quintic is five. That means it's an odd one. Notice it started up and it ended down. Those are the end behaviors that you're going to need to know by looking at the degree. So if it's even, it ends up both the same ways. If it's odd, it ends in different directions. And then on Monday, I'm sorry, on Tuesday, we'll talk about how you know if, it's, uh, if A is positive or A is negative. Okay?